S. Lin S. That will be the next example. The next one to do now, Y equal lin S. Lin, let me first tell you what lin means. Lin, if they say lin S, it means log S base E. So that means log to base E is what we call lin. Log to base E is what we call lin. So that is a log. It's a, it's a log function. It's a logarithm function. And what does that say? That means that um, that means that all the laws of log reading um, um, lean also satisfied. So that is the first thing we need to put in place here. But then now to do the derivative of this, to solve this, there are two methods. The first method I will not solve because it's similar to this first one. This one is um, since y is lean s, which is log to log s base e. Um, by the time you write it in indices form, you will see that s will be equal to e raised power y. And when s is equal to e raised power y, of course you can see, you will now, you will now, you will now solve this way. You will solve this way to obtain the way, in this case you will now obtain the s, the y, which is exactly, as you can see, s equal e raised power y is exactly our previous example. But y is s, but and s is y. So you will now if you solve this way accordingly, you will see that you will obtain the s dy to be equal to e raised power y t. So and at the end of the day, you will now you will now um, you will now reciprocate. This one will now be one over e raised power y, and e raised power y is what s. So e raised power y is equal to s so that means the y dx will be 1 over s that is the first approach but i don't want to use i don't want since i have explained this uh, in the in the last example let's uh, let's do this one naturally now y plus delta y is equal to lean s plus delta s so bring y to the other side i have delta y is equal to s plus delta s minus lin s. So um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I now go back to the source and call God. God now told me that I said something at the beginning of this question that lin is a log function. That I should use it. I should use it. And I look at it. Okay, log a minus log b. Log a minus log b. What does that? What does that say? This one will give me log a divided by b. Since it's, a, since it's log, it will be lin s plus delta s all over s. So that at the end of the day, I have delta y to be equal to lin s over s will give me 1. I will separate it, I will have x over s plus delta s over s. So delta y is equal to lin 1 plus delta s over s so god is with me what is the next thing i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to do is divide both sides by delta s god is with me divide both sides by delta s delta y over delta s the same thing happens is this one will be one over delta s lean 1 plus delta s over s and by the special grace of god i know that if i multiply if i multiply by s over s it does not change anything this one will be s over s multiplied by 1 over delta s lean 1 plus delta s over s this is delta y so that's what we have so this one will now be delta y over delta s. Now, why did I multiply it by s over s? You will soon get to know. God is at my back. The s divided by s will give me 1. So 1 multiplied by anything is still the same thing as that. So I have not changed the question. So I will now let this s come on top of this delta s so that I will be left with 1 over s multiplied by s over delta s. Lean 1 over delta s. I 
and by the special grace of Almighty God, this S, this S over the theta S can come up because this is a love is a is link is a love function. One plus the theta S all over S. Then I have X over delta S. So that is what I have. That is what I have here. So that I have delta S or delta Y over delta S is equal to 1 over S lean. Before God and man, I claim that delta S over S. This S over the theta S, I claim before God and man that it is same as 1 over theta S over S. You can try it. If you don't believe God, try it 1 divided by theta S over S. You will eventually see that God is truthful. God is with me. So, I will have X over theta S. So, this is what I'm going to obtain. So, what am I trying to do? What I'm trying to do is that by the time I will take limit, I need to tell you something here. I need to tell you something here that you should note. That when you take limit, as S goes to zero, when you take limit, as S goes to zero of 1 plus S, raised to the power 1 over s as s goes to 0 1 plus s raised to the power 1 over s the answer we give you if the answer you obtain will be e exponential will be exponential so that is what i'm trying to do here so i'll take limit as the s goes to 0 now I'll take limit as the theta s goes to zero. So limit as the theta s goes to zero of both sides of theta y over the theta s equal limit as the theta s goes to zero of one over s lean one plus the theta s over s raised to the power one over the theta s over s so by the special grace of almighty god this one does not have the time it will be one over s lean all these ones is like this one plus delta s over s raised to power one over s the point is what is here if it is what is at the power one over s and if it is s tends to zero and the theta s goes to zero, all this one will be zero, and this denominator two will be zero. So this one two will be e. Don't forget, I told you that lean is log function, is log to base e. So lean of e means log to base e of e, and log e base e will give me one. So that means lean of e will give me one, so that at the end of the day, I will be left with one over s. So that means the y is equal to one over x.